Okay, so we got this figure here. It's ball shaped. What do you call this figure? Yeah. Sphere. Sphere. Okay. So um, the only variable you need to know for a sphere is the radius. Are we given the radius here? No. No. What are we given? Diameter. The diameter. So the diameter equals three. The issue is how to find the radius. And we all know that the radius is half of a diameter, right? Mm -hmm. uh, you could say 1.5, and a lot of people would, but I won't. It's correct, but it's not useful. You could also say one and one half. Again, it's correct, but it's not useful. Geometry is the math of proportions. So we tend to use a lot of improper fractions. So instead of saying either of these, I'm just going to say three divided by two. I'm literally going to say that as my radius. Three over two. And I'm going to show you probably the best demonstration of why we do that. Surface area formula for a sphere is 4 pi times the radius squared. So I can write this as 4 pi over 1, because of course I'm trying to set everything up as a fraction, times the radius squared. If I'm squaring this number, I'm going to write that number how many times? 2. Twice. So I'm going to do 3 over 2 times 3 over 2. So see, 4 pi times the radius squared means I'm multiplying it by itself twice. Now, this is so much better than 1.5 and 1 and 1 half because I can reduce now. You guys see my opportunity to reduce? The 4 crosses out both of these 2's, leaving me nothing but 1's on the bottom and easy multiplication on the top. 3 times 3 is what? 9. nine. So the answer is 9 pi units squared. And even if you're not a fraction person, I'm sure you'll admit that that's easier than squaring 1.5 and then multiplying by 4. It gets you the same result with a lot less work. That's what we want. Okay, volume for a sphere. This is going to work very similarly. In fact, you can find that this, this is even more useful. It's 4 over 3 pi times the radius cubed. So what we mean here is 4 pi over 3 times the radius, which is 3 over 2. And this time, how many times am I going to write 3 over 2? Three times, of course. So here's my formula set up. All I have to do is resolve this. The four crosses out what? Two. The two twos. How many, how many twos does it cross out? Two. two. And can I get rid of this three? Yeah. I sure can, right? So that leaves three times three on top. Three times three times pi is nine pi. And on the bottom, we're left with two. a two. So the volume equals 9 pi over 2 units cubed. The point of me showing you that is so that you don't put your radius in these formats and give yourself more work. But this is going to work a lot in geometry, so we want to get used to using improper fractions. <laughs>